What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into the 2022 annual of X-Men. As you guys can tell by the front cover, this is hugely gonna focus on our girl Firestar. With Cyclops leading our X-Men team, tensions between mutant kind and the world, they have been very, very escalated. But with Firestar on the team, nominated by Emma Frost, Cyclops believes that maybe she could be the bridge between Krakoa and humanity because she is one of the handful of individuals that has also been an X-Men and an Avenger. Before there is any chance of this bridge truly being created, Firestar is going to have to remedy the relationships that she has with mutant kind. Because the question still rises, will the mutants of Krakoa accept a champion that they see as an outsider? Now, if you have not, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so this story is starting us off with Firestar facing off against the Hellions. The Hellions made up of individuals like Roulette, Cat's Eye, and Jetstream all suited up in their old costumes. Right now, they're giving Firestar a little beatdown, but Firestar, she's not fighting back. And you could say that Firestar, she's really getting a bad rap. You know, you got the Hellions using Avenger almost like it's a slur. The thing about that is there have been many X-Men that have also been Avengers. But our Hellions, they believe that Firestar, she shouldn't be able to just walk into this life so easily. While all the other mutants were getting ridiculed, treated as, they, as if they were less than. Firestar has been relatively exempt from this kind of treatment because instead of bracing her mutant identity, she really she really embraced just her powers, her superhuman abilities. And of course, there are handfuls of mutants that are just not happy about this. Not happy that she went unnoticed for so long and now she is a member of the X-Men team. That's when Bobby shows up. Iceman comes sliding in, making sure that everything is copacetic. And he is not one to back down from a fight. He is more than ready to smash in the Hellions. But Firestar isn't trying to create waves. She simply wants to go to the briefing, their daily briefing that Cyclops gives them on the missions that they have to take care of. And so with our heroes making their way to the treehouse, this is where they get their mission briefing. The first one on the docket is is Horrower, which is very interesting because we have seen her playing an active role in the Deadpool series. An individual in Vancouver going by the name of Bybeast, which Bobby cannot help himself but want to make jokes about. There's a distress call from Mojo and what appears to be a little tiny baby toddler Havoc. And then a cancer ward in Florida, they are reporting that their Krakoan medicine has never shown up. Now at first they discuss maybe bouncing that last one off to the Hellfire trading. Let them take care of that situation. That's when Firestar speaks up. She lets it be known that if we are trying to make good relationships with humanity, maybe going and helping this place out would be good publicity. It would be good to have the X-Men seen doing this job. With Bobby chiming in saying that this is a really good idea and that the two of them, they'll pop down to Florida, they'll see what's going on. But this is when Cyclops interjects and he lets it be known that he is going to go with her. That Bobby will go with Jean and the others and take care of the other missions. That the two of them will catch up once they have this all figured out. That's when Jean Grey has a telepathic conversation with Scott. And Scott's letting it be known that Firestar, she has been an asset to this team. But she had never actually wanted this spot. Emma Frost is the one that decided to put her on the team. But this is the first time that she has ever taken initiative. It is the first time that she's not simply taking orders, but she seems like she actually wants to do some help. Wanting to see where this goes, all of our heroes head out. Magic opening up a portal for both Firestar and Cyclops. They make their way to Kissimmee, Florida. As they show up, it is an absolute storm. This huge tropical storm is just pounding this retirement home. 
as our heroes go inside, they go to investigate what is truly happening here. What we learn is that this shipment, it wasn't delayed, it never, it's not that it never showed up, it's that it was here and somebody stole it. There are only a couple of employees that actually have access to the room where the medicine is kept. They had found one of the employees beaten half to death. So whoever did this, they took the access codes and they took the keys. They also got away with all of the footage. When they were able to get inside, the only thing that they targeted was Krakoan medicine. Because while they may give it out for free, while well, mutant kind, they just give out Krakoan medicine. The truth is, there are many countries that don't see Krakoa as a nation. Because of this, they are unwilling to accept any medicine from them. This is creating a black market for Krakoan medicine. People desperate all over the world from Russia to UK. So our two heroes, they begin to investigate, with Firestar checking for any radioactive material that may have been left behind, looking for radioactivity, looking for any trace of somebody that may have been here. The problem is there are too many overlapping signals inside the hospital. That is when there is a thunderous boom from outside the building, thinking that this has to be something more than a tropical storm. The two of them go and they investigate. When Firestar makes her way outside, what she finds is a tornado. This tropical storm has kicked it up a notch to a hurricane. Not reported on any of the news, not expected in the slightest. We see that somebody, somebody is in that tornado and they are causing the hurricane. That is what takes us down to the Philippines. The X-Men team facing off against Horror. For our heroes, they make quick work of this. In a matter of moments, they are opening up a portal and making their way to British Columbia. This is where they find themselves facing off against By Beast. While they are in the midst of this battle, that is when they get news that there are dinosaurs showing up in freaking Brooklyn. And so while the X-Men team do what they do, we are picking us back up down in Florida. We have Firestar who is getting thrown around by the wind. It takes her a small moment, but then she recognizes this to be Whirlwind. These two have not seen each other in quite some time, but she had taken Whirlwind down back when she was part of the New Warriors. This is actually what helped her get onto the Avengers Reserve Squad. But she had defeated Whirlwind as a teenager, so right here, right now, this, this should not be hard for her in the slightest. As these two forces clash together, we jump over to Brooklyn. We have Brainchild and the Savage Lands that are making their way into Brooklyn and claiming that all public parks belong to them that they are annexing it and it will belong to the Savage Lands from this moment forward. With our heroes doing their thing, we see that Forge is almost taken out by a dinosaur. But that is when Sink grabs onto the powers of somebody that is nearby. That somebody is Spider-Man. Even Forge was a little bit confused on where Sink had grabbed these powers from, with Spider-Man coming in saying that he calls it the Venom Blasts. Sink apologizing for stealing his powers, but this Spider-Man is one of the few that really gets along well with the X-Men. With our heroes quickly taking down this problem, at this point Jean Grey was believing that Scott should already be done with the retirement home and dealing with the medicine, relaying to her that this is a much bigger problem than previously thought. Now he is unaware of Whirlwind outside currently, but as he gets glimpses out the window, he lets Jean Grey know to keep a thought on us, to just make sure because if I shout out and need help, I'm gonna need you guys to show up. That is when we are taken to the battle in Florida. Whirlwind being paid some big bucks to do this job. Some trust fund individual paid him about a quarter of a million dollars to visit her dad in the cancer ward and pull the air out of his lungs. But when he saw the security, he decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this Krokoan medicine and take some money off the top, make some extra money while doing this gig. While he's going off of the mouth about his entire plan, Cyclops hits him in the back of the neck. 
That is what takes us to Mojo. At this point, he is already admitting that the zombie ex-babies was a horrible idea. Now he is wanting help in obliterating these tiny monsters. Havoc going on to say that it was already creepy enough when they were tiny versions of us, but now you turn them into freaking zombies. And of course, you got Magic over in the corner just having an absolute ball about this. Taking us back over to Florida, we have Cyclops running outside, seeing the battle, and Firestar, she erupts. A giant explosion, her just being done with this situation. We see Whirlwind go flying into his unmarked van, and the medicine comes spilling out. Firestar does have to ask the question, because Whirlwind, he is a mutant. He could have taken amnesty, he could have started a whole new life. But to him, he sees that Krakoa is eventually just gonna get nuked. He believes that humanity, they're gonna get to a boiling point, and a matter of time, somebody is going to attack them. Somebody is going to take them off the map. He would rather not be there when they attempt this. Believing that he gets the last laugh, because inside this hospital, he left a bomb. He planted this bomb because the woman paying him, she paid him under the market rate. Being unhappy about this, he decides that he is going to just kill everybody. Take the money, he's going to cut and run. With Firestar rushing into the building, letting Cyclops know there is not enough time to get everybody we need to stop this. What she is looking for is a remote detonator, trying to pick up its signal. She thinks that she might have it, but it is on the floor below her, only having one chance. She sends a blast right through the floor and right through the remote detonator. This shuts it off instantaneously. With their one last mission to do for the day, they head off to Michigan. Because a bunch of militia idiots, they decided that they were going to be buying Junkyard Sentinels and bring them back online. And so our X-Men team, they jump into action and they take down these Sentinels. With a day done, a job completed, they head back to the Green Lagoon. Making their way into the Green Lagoon, this is when they run into the Hellions. Not sure if there is going to be trouble, not sure if there's going to be a problem. Firestar decides she's going to go have a chat, letting Roulette know that nothing she said was wrong, that she's had her own reasons for coming and going, but she can understand how it looks from the outside. She doesn't expect to be welcomed with open arms. She truly just wants the chance to show that she can put in the work, that she's not going anywhere, that she is not running away when things get hard. Roulette simply letting her know that you don't have to prove it to me, but prove it to yourself. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This was actually a pretty fun, a pretty wholesome issue. We get to see what it is to be an X-Men for a day. This is what they do day in and day out. But moreover, what we get to see is Firestar truly beginning to understand her mutant roots, to fully accept who she is, and to be here on the island protecting them side by side, defending everything it is to be mutant kind. That she has a lot to prove, not to humanity, but to the mutants. Because there are many individuals that see her as an outsider. But with her putting in the work day in and day out, these are the things that she needs to do. This is how she is going to prove her loyalty to Krakoa. Not bad for the 2022 annual, a real spotlight on Firestar. But let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with the X-Men line, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having 5 different tiers, from $1 to $50. 
from loyalty badges to getting free comics every single month. Not only does this help out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you are unable to do any of that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.